Here's five bits of horror movie news you might have missed last week. Let's go. The trailer to Lee Winnell's Wolfman movie came out and it is amazing. It looks crazy. It has a weird alien thing going on. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. And it's so much fun, unlike the which premiered at Halloween Horror Nights and I don't know why they showed us this before the trailer. Uh, I don't think that's what the wolf is going to look like. That might be like a mid-transformation or it's just a thing for Horror Nights that they didn't want to pull out an animatronic for. They just wanted to show people and get people excited. I don't know, it backfired. People hate it. I think it's fine, but yeah. Friday the 13th, the final chapter is getting a 40th anniversary re-release on the 10th, the 13th, and the 15th. So have fun. The Burbs is getting a remake series on Peacock starring Kiki Palmer. I think that's a great idea. I think that The Burbs is a really cool movie and I've always said that The Burbs would work really well in modern day and making it extra weird and extra creepy and I think that this is the right project for her to do. It looks like Piglet is getting his own slasher movie. Uh, Bloody Disgusting showed the trailer to this Piglet movie and I, I love, okay, I liked the first Winnie the Pooh movie. I think there's some really cool stuff in it. I, I think like Winnie <laughs> uh, being really, really upset that Christopher Robin left him works and then some of it doesn't. I didn't really like the, the second movie, but uh, I like these spinoff ideas and I like the ideas of like twisted fairy tales. Um, I think they can be good and I think they can be done well. So uh, I'll be there, I'll watch it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Lastly, Mike Flanagan's movie Hush is coming out on uh, 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray. I am so excited. So if you guys don't know, Hush was uh, on Netflix originally. Uh, it was exclusively on Netflix and Netflix pulled it down and there was no way to see it. Uh, it got released on uh, VOD last week and then this week it was announced that it, we're going to get a physical copy of it. And this is so neat and I'm so excited. I wanna add it to my collection. I'm always afraid that we're gonna lose media and it seems like more and more we're actually losing media and we're losing the ability to see stuff the way we want to see it in the way it used to be seen. Some of these 4K transfers aren't great, but I think that this one's going to be good. Um, this has a black and white version of it, which is really cool and I really want to see it. Um, and there are some really neat special features that are listed. There's some commentaries. I think it's going to be really, really fun. So uh, grab this when you can. And if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want me to cover something in particular, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm trying this new thing. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be neat to like not cover news as it comes, but cover news like at the end of the week when we have some time to like digest it and see what actually mattered or not. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be great. I'll see you guys later.